Hi guys and welcome to the Radio Den. My name is Michael and this is Paul, uh, my son Paul. And today, well, we've got our first episode. And what are we looking at in our first episode um, today, We're going to look at 201 electronic kit. And yeah, we've got an interesting project. It's great for beginners. Um, it says it's from 10 years old upwards and guess how old you are? Nine. Nine. And I already know some. But only for a couple of days because it's your 10th birthday soon, isn't it? Yeah, nearly yeah. my birthday. 200 projects, no soldering, no dangerous electronic um, voltages to work with for this. This is pretty easy stuff to do. It's great for a beginner. Uh, we'll be looking at this board, what it does, and some of them. Well, we're going we're gonna to start one project today. Yeah, we're going to do an easy one for you because you've got no electronics experience at all, haven't you? Yeah, um, and basically you have all different types of boxes, and you ha you're going to have to you'll be learning about all different types. But first, you need to get batteries to power it up. Okay, so the batteries first. Most important things about the batteries, you can't do much, and you know what it's like today. You buy something, and they don't come with it. So make sure you've got batteries. This takes six AA batteries. AA. Uh, AA batteries. Today um, we're going to build a photometer. We're here to show you um, all about the wires, different lengths and how to connect them on this and we've got all different type of boxes. So first we're starting off with the little ones. So the little ones can connect to there, to there or there to there. So it has to be close together for it. Next is the red wire. This is to go short, a little short distances, but it will be okay, but you can't reach all the way to the end. Now moving on to the yellow wire. This is the longest to make go all the way across the board. Now the green one, we're not gonna use this, but we'll use it later on in the videos. Um, so this is an aerial, so you can make all different. You can make radio. You can do whatever you want with it. So starting off with number one wire. So 58 connected to one, one four three. 58 will be here. Two. One hundred and forty-eight is somewhere around here. See, this is sometimes you can get struggled because it can be anywhere. Now I've just found it. I need a yellow wire. So fifty-eight connected to one hundred one hundred and forty-three is there. Okay, next. 60 um to a 180 no 68 so we'll need to go 60 i think that would be a red wire 168 is up there so i need another yellow wire for this one so I've got that one plugged in now i need 137 sorry this is a little struggle when 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 you start get used when you get used to it it comes more easier but when you go to the end of the book it's really hard so i better start off with number one will be better but this one usually you get a struggle with this one can be tricky because when when you buy it and you start off it can be a little very tricky and when you when you carry on repeating it it gets easier and easier but i I've done this once, but um, this is my second go. But you need you need practice, don't you? So I think I found it to one hundred and seventy-one. That one is longer. So let's see how this will actually end out. Last wire to go. So I'm going thinking it will be one of these sixty-seven. Yeah, and 70. 72, 172, and that's it. So we're done. Yes. Right, so the photometer, remind us once again, what does it actually do? Um, it's supposed to be for a night cycle. One second. A night what? A night, um, actually I mean a light. So when there's light, this photometer will go up. 
The meter will go up. Yeah, the meter. It's not doing it. Oh dear. Right, okay, time for Dad to check it. Right, this, this is some of the problems you can get. If um, you go ahead of yourself sometimes, you can get the numbers mixed up, can't you? And you yeah. Can get, um, the wiring sequence uh, wrong. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to check this wiring sequence. So we're looking at number 58, which is going to 143, which is correct. Yep. Uh, 60 to 168. Uh, 60, these all come from the battery terminals. That's going to 168. I think I do. 137 to 142. I can already see there's wires missing here. Is there? Uh, 137. Right, that looks like that's wrong. 137 should be going to 142, which is there. What is it? Yeah. Oh uh, dear, see, this is where you've got to be very, very careful. Yeah, you better check because I got it wrong. So this was an example if you get it wrong. Right, 138, you've got one wire missing here to 171. See? So this is an example for you. So if you make a mistake, um, get your dad or your mum and make it check. Right. So what we're looking for now is that ta -da, oh, so the light is working. Oh, show the camera. So what, what happens now? What, what does this project actually do there? What, what the, well, tell us what's on the front of the panel here. What so this for? front of the panel is showing when, when um, it's light time. When it's light, this can go to 10 yeah. or half because um, sometimes it can be damn. It, if it's damn, it can come down to under five. If it's dark? Yes. Yeah. And if it's bright, it can go over five, maybe to 10 or over 10. Right, so, okay, so how does that work then? So if you carry, if you put, press code key, yeah. push it down. Oh, we see the lights go up, yeah. So look, if I go, Closer. So what are, what are the controls on the front there? I see that you've got a meter on the left hand side and then you've got a push button on the right hand side. So what, what is it actually doing? So code key, um, if you press it down, this can go up or when it... Well, why would it go up? Because when there's bright shining here... Yeah, which that's is a CDS cell. CDS yeah. cell, of yeah. course. Um, this panel can go upwards. The meter will go Yeah, upwards. the meter. Yeah. Um, can you show us that working? Um, press code key, down. Yeah. Oh, right. So that's, that's with a light room. We've got a studio light there. Yeah. So if, I, if you stay there, where you are, if I turn this light off here, we should see that meter go down a bit, should we? Just a teensy bit. Just a teensy and bit, we've got another strong studio like that side. Yeah, this one's the brightest and that one's the dallowest. Right, okay, so let's so, put that on again. What are you reading? I'm reading 5.5. Right, okay, and what now, are you reading now? Six. Six, right, so there's a slight dip there yeah. in the light levels. Now this works really good with daylight, it's getting dark out there at the moment. Guys, we, we are... Um, We've just we've just planned one hour, so we're gonna do the day cycle with no lights. See, and when it's night time, mm -hmm. we're going to see if it's with the lights on if it's brighter than the daylight. And when it's sunny, we can go outside and test it and see. If, and then when it goes night, we can test the lights again. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We're going to set a calibration reference. This is just a rough guidance. Um, we're going to call this our reference measurement, and we're going to do it into this bright studio light, which is a CFL light here. It's pretty, pretty bright, yeah. And what we're going to do, we're going to set the meter up on there to read 10. So we know that that's our maximum light yeah. for inside. Oh, look right. at now. Okay, it's off the scale at the moment. So what you can do is use the variable resistor or potentiometer yeah. and that's Control. set at 10. Right so now we've got a reference of 10 in that bright studio light. Yeah. And what you're going to do now you're going to go around each room are you and you're going to measure yeah. the natural light in each room. So it's a cloudy day so we've marked it down cloudy on our um, chart. Yes. Yeah. 
and um, when it's sunny we'll do another one and then we're going to do another one tonight with the light bulbs on in the house yes and do a measurement there as well like i told you in the start didn't i okay so where are we starting so we're starting at the lounge so oh. that'll be the living room okay so let's head over we're in the lounge yep and i'll put, just put that down because we won't need it just now so basically now we're back in the lounge now we're in the lounge and you're going to take a side on view yeah yep and push it down. Oh, it's below 10. What so have we got there? We've got seven. Right. So it's a seven for the lounge. Yeah. Hello again. Right. So now we're in the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen. So now let's see what it comes up. Oh, now it's 5.5. 5.5 on yes. the meter. Okay. Let's record that one then. Yeah. Hello again. Now we're in my bedroom. Okay, so we're going to point it to the ambient light in the room rather than at the window, yeah? Yeah, because the window will give us light, so we don't want light. So okay. now, let's switch it on. Oh, my one's six. Six, okay, so it's six for your bedroom. All right, now we're in my mum's bedroom. We are going to face the light again, exactly the same as my bedroom. So now let's read in you know, this light. It's a bit brighter it's in here, isn't it? Eight. Eight. Now. Right, okay. Alright, now I'm back. Let's see the reading of this one. So where are we? We're in the hallway uh, now, aren't we? Yes, the hallway. So let's see the reading of this. It's seven point seven point five. Seven point five. Right, we're in the conservatory right now and Paul's just coming in. This is, I must say, very bright in here because it's got sort of uh, a plasticky glass roof. Yeah, and it's very cold. Yeah, it's cold in here, yeah. Oh, nice. This is work in progress in here. This is a bit of, this is our den that we're constructing at the moment with all sorts going on, so. Yeah, this is my dad's den, my one's in there. Yeah. So let's see the reading of this. We've got a reading of 10. 10, so this is the brightest. This is the closest we're gonna get to the daylight that we're getting outside. Now that bulb that we tested earlier, yeah. the bulb that we um, used earlier as the studio light, that is yeah. uh, natural daylight. Yeah. Um, I think it's five and a half thousand K, which is yeah. close to natural daylight. So I think that's why out here, so now even it's though it's cloudy. Oh, it's cold in, out here now. So now we're in the garden. So let's see our readings here. I reckon it's going to be another 10. Oh, it's less. Go. It's six, seven. Oh, seven. Is that because you're right in front of it there, isn't it? There you go. Well, it's pretty cloudy out here. Uh, it's um, 7.5. 7.5. Yes. So the brightest room in, in this house is a conservatory. Is a conservatory. That's yes, because that one has plastic roof. The house doesn't have a plastic roof, but only the conservatory has it. Right, okay. And wow, it's frosty out here. Right, so Paul, for your first time on this electronics kit, what do you think of it on, on the fun level out of 10? What's the fun factor? Oh, it's really good. You better learn this and it's good. Because you've done a few now, haven't you, off of there? You've done a few that you've got yourself on the radio. Yeah. That, you've got a little AM transmitter yeah. earlier this morning, which will probably feature on another episode. Um, you've built the rain detector. Yes. Yeah. You've got the light detector. Yeah. But the rain detector is another project we're going to look yeah. at. Yeah. Um, we're going to look at that. It's going to be about if so, if the if any water drops on it, it it, it goes. Oh, so it makes an audible noise yeah. on there. How easy do you think this one has been? Well, very for a easy. Beginner, yeah. Yeah. It um it's good for style. You can you can do. You, you can copy the instructions, but this is the most important thing about this. It's the numbers down bottom because that will help you. So yeah, because you made a mistake on this one. Yeah, and and did you? Cut the wires off. Yeah, and did you know those num those numbers are marked on this? They're marked here. So by the components. Yes. Yeah. So if we look at the board, let's have a look, quick look at the board here. We've got all your resistors in this segment here. Um, you've got some transistors here, different types of transistors, NPN, PMP transistors, but you do get to learn about this in the instruction manual. It goes through a bit better than we do when explaining this. You've got some input output transformers, uh, a couple of IC integrated circuits here, a bank of capacitors, 
uh, and then you've got some LED banks and there's some switching uh, speakers and a ferrite coil there for your, for your radio stuff. Comprehensive um, instruction book comes with it as well, as you can see listed there. Tons of projects, absolutely tons of projects to go 200. through. 200. 200 uh, to be precise. Right, well, we'll see you on our next episode. On um, the water project. Yes, yeah, uh, it's been uh, that from me and Mike and Paul here at the Radio Den. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. You've got some, something to add at the end here, Paul? Um, don't forget to leave some comments down below and subscribe, sub subscribe, subscribe yep. down bottom. Thank Brilliant. you. Okay, and thumbs uh -huh. up if you can.